Wow, what a great day we've had, haven't we? Unbelievable. Mark, come on out here, mate. Jimmy Pollock uh, was an incredibly long-serving crew member. This has been going 47 years. And uh, Mark, who's 57 years old, won it last year. And we can't give it to Mark again. But Jimmy Pollock will be looking down on us because he passed away a few years ago. His son, Ross, is over there. And Ross has been in the crew for at least 22 years or something. So that shows you it's a family, strong man. And we really appreciate all of you guys coming and supporting all this madness. Thank you very much. It's enormously appreciated. I don't want to keep Mr. Felix on his legs too long, but let me just start by saying, Mark, if we could give it to you, we'd give it to you, but you've already got it. Let's, have, let's hear it for Mark Felix and his final World's Strongest Man. 18 years of service, 57 years old, And I asked him, are you happy to retire? And Mark said, yeah, I really am. I think this is it. So I thought, okay. And I, I tried to wave my tears. Mark, we'll give this trophy out. There's a couple of honorable mentions first and foremost. And some of this valiant fighting we saw here. There's a few men that need mentioned, really all of them. But uh, I think a huge round of applause for the likes of Gavin Bilton, who came so close. And he's such a kind man, Gavin. He's as kind as he is huge. And we thank you, Gavin, for putting up such a fight. Another man that I think deserves a mention, I know he's had a lot of mentions already, but I couldn't be any more grateful for all of his years of involvement. He might have picked up four titles along the way. He might have caused me numerous amounts of headaches. <laughs> But he's always supported and fought hard for the athletes, and it's never been better. And it's an absolute rude health now, World's Strongest Man. And he's fought hard for the crew members. I know they've been very grateful over the years to make sure they've been looked after. <laughs> and let's have a round of applause for our crew members. And I'm glad he's made a final, and maybe in the drive for five, he's over in the tent over there, but uh, Brian Shaw, thank you very much for all of your years of making World's Strongest Man great and for being the one man over all others who I have to say has really brought Strongman forward. He has made it, changed it, and he really has embodied all of these different Jimmy Pollock uh, uh, things that we're looking for, from sportsmanship to decency to good humor, especially this year. It's been a bit hard on me in the past, but there you go. But I've been incredibly grateful how kind and decent he's been this year. So thank you, Brian. Now then, who's going to win the Jimmy Pollock Award for other things as well? Hard work, a lifelong ambition, making strongman great. And it doesn't have to always be the athletes. Actually, it can also be crew members as well. Brian, come on in, man. Just to... Please, thank you, sir, for... In fact, you knew Jimmy Pollock well. I think he'd be smiling down, saying something inaudible, like, yeah, well done, big man, he's a billionaire, because he was from Scotland. Um, you and Felix retiring. It's kind of scaring me, Brian. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's just like a, a whole different world happening here. Yeah. Have a word? So, so for people here that never met Jimmy Pollock, Jimmy was on... What year did he start with the World's Strongest Man? So, so if you if you go back and watch, what year what year was the stone? Yeah, Hungary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was he was actually coaching Ab Walders. Yeah. So if you go back and watch that old one, he's uh, he's on a stage. It was kind of a sketchy setup, but uh, they were doing a stone to shoulder, right? And one of the other athletes, he was kind of, and they used to coach for whatever reason, the standing like right here. And another uh, guy dropped a stone, it r rolled into his ankle, and he's like hopping on one foot, still trying to coach, and yeah, but he was, he was quite a character with World's Strongest Man, and, and uh, just a great, a great guy, honestly, a really, really genuinely great guy, and I was honored enough to uh, compete here with him. He was an integral part of World's Strongest Man. I mean, he just was kind of like the heartbeat um, 
of this contest and always brought just a smile and, and uh, just jovial, right? Like just a good, good man. Um, and so this, this award, whoever gets this, this is a meaningful award uh, in, in my eyes. So I just wanted to say that. And um, his son, Ross, is actually back uh, this year, right here. Let's give Ross a round of applause. Uh, and it is wonderful to have you back, my friend. Uh, it's, um, yeah, it's really, really special. So it's, it's just something uh, means a lot to me. And seeing his face here for all those years uh, really, really meant a lot to me personally, too. So just wanted to say that real quick. Brian Shaw, what a man. He really is. He's not even beating me up this year. I couldn't be any happier. <laughs> we've, we've had our tussles, Brian. Right? Anyway, thank you, Brian. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, all the guys. Thank you to everybody. Our winner this year absolutely embodies hard work. He invented the wooden log, basically. He is an absolute star of Strongman. And when everybody is out the front there enjoying kettlebells, he's out the back polishing his balls. And he looked after these for hours. You may well know him. And he's going to be absolutely... The blood is draining from his face. He's not in front of the cameras kind of a guy. You better believe it, baby. Come on out. Steve Slater! Jeez. <laughs> Steve Slater, have you got a few words to say about this? I could probably be here all night. I can't believe this. Oh my gosh, this is like a dream come true to be around the sport of strongman for so many years and, and watching it when I was young and growing up with it. And then when my, when my, when my son, every night we'd tell stories like of world's strongest man and watch this. And watch Jimmy, and and it's just unreal to be part of this and to meet Ross. I never met Jimmy, but in spirit I met him. And one day again, I, I one day I will meet him. You know, and to have this award is just unbelievable. I don't know what I did to deserve this, but I I've always loved building equipment, building stones and getting the equipment out there that represents the athletes and uh, listening to guys like Gregor over there and giving me advice on what to do and how to build things and, and Colin and Brian. Brian is really meticulous when it comes to equipment, so <laughs> I, <laughs> I can't believe this, guys. So what an honor it is to be here with you guys and to have Rogue Fitness uh, help rep represent the sport and help, you know, bring cool equipment come to life to help represent such awesome athletes and what a great sport, what an awesome sport, world's best sport, world's strongest man. Thank you so much. Thank you, Steve Slater. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mark Felix. Thank you, Brian Shaw. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for supporting us. We really, really do appreciate it. Come back Saturday, because we have the finals, and Big Brian is in it. Let's have one last cheer for these men, and Steve Slater, the legend. Thank you very much, Steve. And a very, an extra little in brackets, don't you mention me, Rick Matter, his buddy, who's always along here too. Thank you, Rick, very much indeed. These guys just work tirelessly behind the scenes. I'm not even sure they're meant to be crew. I think it says VIP on their pass, but thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, guys. That's it. Thank you very much. Cheers. Hey, right, Andy. Let's have a cheer for Quinny! Thank you, Mr. Bryce, a very deserved winner. Ladies and gentlemen, we have two Scotsmen, two Ukrainians, a Canadian, a South African.